The first computer mouse wasn't plastic. In 1964, Douglas Engelbart built a blocky wooden shell with one red button and two metal wheels. It tracked movement and kicked off the whole point and click revolution. Board on early pointers look like a tail. In Douglas Engelbart's 1960s lab, the nickname Mouse was born. And it never left. That chunky rodent soon scurried across every desktop. Before Apple ever sold one, the first commercial mouse shipped with the Xerox Star 8010 back in 1981. It paired two square buttons with the first public graphical desktop, letting people click icons instead of typing commands. Early mice used two little wheels that only track straight lines. In 72, engineers patented the trackball, one smooth rolling ball sensing any direction. That design replaced the wheels and defined mice for decades. Douglas Engelbart's 1970 patent for the mouse ran out in 1987, right before personal computers exploded. Without royalties, he earned nothing while billions of mice sold. Huge idea, zero payout. Google mice hit mainstream in the late 90s, replacing grimy trackballs. A tiny camera under the LED snaps thousands of surface photos every second, turning movement into precise cursor motion. Before 1996, scrolling meant dragging a sluggish bar. Microsoft's IntelliMouse added a tiny wheel, letting pages fly with a flick. That simple cylinder revolutionized navigation, saving countless clicks and wrists worldwide. Speed uses a quirky unit, Mickeys. One Mickey equals about one two hundredth of an inch. Sensors count thousands each second. More Mickeys, faster cursor. Crank DPI, watch the count soar. 84, the first wireless mouse beamed infrared, so blocking its path made the cursor freeze. Radio and Bluetooth freed us in the 2000s. Now cord free clicks work from anywhere. From a handmade wood shell to fast wireless optics, the humble mouse turned cryptic code into clicks, letting everyone explore computers with ease. One little rodent changed the world.